Yes, we're here in the sadly disused brewery at Charcot Park and today we're focusing on wildlife that's a little bit closer to home. We're looking at garden birds, in particular that little flash of red that brightens up a gloomy autumn morning, the robin. <laughs> Twenty-five years ago, David Tideswell planned his garden, designed with birds in mind. Most of the birds that visit gardens, as I say, are refugees of woodland, but not deep woodland, woodland fringe, and really that's what we've tried to replicate in this little garden. Add in clean water, food and nesting material on tap, and the result is a garden that over 50 different bird species flock to, including wrens, cash and carry coltits, stocking up for the winter, and starlings. A charm of goldfinches on the feeder. They would once have migrated to the Mediterranean, but with milder winters and more fruit from us, they're staying put. David's an expert on all these garden birds, but there's one regular visitor that he has an amazing affinity with. The robin. How do you train them to do all that? Well, uh, they train me, really. But what I tend to do is, if I'm going to put out food for the robins, I always, before, have a little contact call. So it's a... or a... Then they know food's about and they come down. This is mean I can catch them early in the morning before I go to work. And last thing at night, you see, before they go to roost, they like a, a nice little treat. Of course, a visiting robin needs a home, somewhere to hide that bright red breast from predators. The robin Fine. box is much lower, though. Yeah, shoulder height in the edge of cover, as I say primeval habitat, an ivy-covered bank or a moss-covered stump. Don't get too high. Never completely hide them away. They are like an open view to the front. Danger's only coming from one direction, really. So even the smallest garden can be a paradise for birds and perhaps a training ground for robins. Just remember, they're training you, not the other way around. And for more top tips on looking after your garden birds this winter, or why not go to our website, bbc.co.uk slash Midlands Today, where you'll find the very best of your autumn pictures as well. Join us in the brew house tomorrow for more, but for now, back to the studio.